So this is going to be a short one because I have to pee and um, didn't want to forget what I wanted to say. And this is one of them videos where it's just like, I'm thinking of this right now. If I don't record it, I'm probably going to forget about it. So, here goes. Um, why do gay people exist? You know? Like, to answer the question for people who are, you know, yeah, about gay people. Well, in short, the mystery is revealed in an obvious place, as usual. And man, I really do have to pee. Um, but that's kind of related. You see, it goes back to the flood, actually. And it goes from there all the way into the future. And the reason why is because I have to pee from time to time. Because occasionally people piss me off of the irony. And yes, I just drank another sip of coffee. Because my bladder is Ford Tough. So you have no current scenario that I can point to off the top of my head but it, it might be happening along this line but think about first in the future okay before I go back into the past and, and why this has happened before um, I moved the I moved one of the rose bubble tips back into the 20 gallon so I'm just kind of staring at it and all the other interesting things going on in there okay so in the future if you had a situation where other divides were solved Okay. And it was a matter of just race. Okay. Politics wasn't a thing anymore. Um, or even if just race wasn't a thing. It, if, if you just narrowed everything down to one issue. So, like, we face a lot of different issues right now, okay? But if there was just one issue left, there would be, and, and more than likely, it's going to be race, okay? And I'll, I'm just going to stick to that because that's the specific thing that I had in mind. I kind of second-guessed myself there. Forgive me for that. Um... If you had a situation in which politics was no longer a divide, a divide, sex was no longer a divide, men and women were equal, okay, and people solely focused on racial superiority, you would inevitably have persecution of homosexuals because of eugenic type arguments. OK? 
Okay. So in this scenario, homosexuals would be key to the peace movement between races because they would be the only unifying factor among the persecuted amongst the different nations. Savvy? So even after, even if racial victory was had and the whole world became segregated, the only way to desegregate it at that point would be homosexuals. They would be the only unifying thread of humanity that would be saying, hey, this is wrong. This adversarial, apartheid, apathy, it's wrong. Okay? Because the fact of the matter is, no matter how utopian you might conceive of this scenario, it inevitably leads to genocide. It inevitably leads to war. Okay? It inevitably leads, it inevitably leads to assholes ro running the show. Okay? And we know this because it's the assholes that most stand for segregationist type viewpoints. So, if you, um, if you go back into the past, about 5,700 years ago, okay, you had a situation in which the genetics of what is now known as humanity were not only mutative, but more disparate, more prone to branching off. Okay. In addition to that, you had metaphysical beings who chose individual families okay, sex, subsex of humanity, and chose to interfere or further or assist or manipulate their development, okay? You know, that's something I was guilty of. But not only did I do, you know, beneficial things, but they've all... You know what, 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 what little intent I had has been largely destroyed, and pushed back, and you know. Um, I, I didn't step on any butterflies. I, I set a few loose, and they all got stepped on, basically. <laughs> so, anyways. Um, But yes, um, it was the apartheid continuation into conflict, okay, including the hunting and persecution of homosexualities because of this apartheid mindset that existed 3,000, 4,000 years ago, 5,000 years ago, all the way before that, okay. And... What, what you don't seem to realize is that at this point, when humanity needed to be destroyed by a flood, is that this future scenario in which homosexuals were the only people who actually met and spoke of compassionate things and, and said that this is a horrifying reality, that was true back then. Now, they didn't make it on the boat. For obvious reasons. But, 
they earned their right to a higher existence. Death is just a door. You can pass through it. Then you can wind up in a nicer place. Or you can wind up in a gas station bathroom. Mm. That's where trolls are going to wind up. Trolls are just going to wind up in the gas station bathrooms of reality. <laughs> Ah, so that's why the rainbow, that's why God allows in this reality his sacred symbol that imparts warning to mankind about the golden rule of how you treat each other. That's why God allowed that to happen little bigoted Christian wannabes. It's because gay people might be the only thing that saves you from another flood. No, I'm not personally the biggest fan of the idea of homosexuality. I, I don't consider myself homophobic, obviously. I'm from New Orleans. I've had a lot of gay friends, men and women, okay? But I am a naturalist, and I believe that people have another life to live if they're homosexual, okay? I believe that homosexual, homosexuality occurs naturally as the result of the endocrine system, okay? It is not something necessarily, in, in most cases, that anybody chooses in any way, shape, or form. Okay? It is something that, in some small cases, is enhanced by choice. Okay? A, a, a borderline preference can be pushed one way or the other through traumatic or influential experiences. Okay? But to ignore the fact that there's women who are born good at football and you know that grow mustaches like okay just and there there are some guys that just they just they're this always you know their hands are jazzy okay i think joel olstein is one of those guys but you know anyway <laughs> <coughs> See, what you don't realize is that a lot of televangelists are Satanists who have permission from God, okay, their demon master has permission from God to collect attacks from hypocrites. They promote hypocrisy, pass around the offering plate, and those who buy into their hypocrisy pay that tax. Or is God not almighty? You know, when he needs to be. Almighty enough to have the balls to be not almighty when he doesn't need to be. And on that bombshell, it's time to hit that little button. You should hit that little button.